right, Coach, just give me your opening thoughts coming off into that match. I'm disappointed. Um, we've worked really hard in training this week. Um, and I think because we saw a lot more of our identity in the way that we played this week and the way that we fought um, throughout the game, I just felt like we deserved more out of it. And I felt similar to last week, we controlled a lot of the game. We just switched off again and we got punished. And sometimes those lessons are the hard ones to, to, to learn. But... Um, yeah, it's difficult to kind of digest because, you know, going up 1-0, which was really great, got the crowd going. Um, Elo had a, had a great goal. Um, and then we maintained it for a, for, a, for a long period. We were the better team, I think, for that first 30, 35 minutes. And then the last 10, we just we just switched off. And um, so and then to lose the game overall, you know, it's disappointing. And I know the girls are down and, and we're down too. But, you know... There are a lot of positives, and I think you know we introduced a couple more players today, which I think really helped us. And we saw players step up into into their roles and take responsibility, and I think that was really good. But big positive for me was seeing much more of our identity of how we play and the style that we play and the system that we play, and I think it worked a lot. And that's what's really encouraging to take from from the game today, even though that we did lose. Of course, talk to me about that first goal, Eleanor Franco mm. getting her first goal in a CFC jersey. What did that mean? To you and how did uh, offensively, how did the team play today? Better. So with our front three, we've, we've, I asked them this week, like we want them to play narrower. Um, that way it allows us to combine a bit better in the central areas of the field and then allow those outlets um, in the wide areas for our fullbacks and midfielders to go into. Um, and I spoke to Ella before the game and I was like, I feel like it's your game today. I feel like you can, you can, you can deliver something for us. And I said, just when you get the opportunity, take the shot. Like, I don't care if it's on your weaker foot. I don't care if, if you try it on your weaker foot and it goes over. Like, just have a go. If the opportunity's there, do it because I believe you can deliver. And she did. And she hit the first one. It got deflected and she didn't give up, which is a huge, you know, it's a great thing for the, for the mindset, you know, that she was able to, to respond really well and get the rebound and smash it into the top corner, which was a great finish and the crowd loved it. So that was really, really positive And it's good that she got off, got off the mark in, in terms of goals and hopefully she'll get more moving forward. Uh, speaking defensively, Lily mm. Kate in the back in goal, she had a good game, she had did. a lot of saves. Uh, tell yep. me about her performance and just the performance of you know, the back line, the Department of Defense, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, being a goalkeeper myself, I know what those games are like in goal. She was busy. She did the simple things right. She made some big saves in big moments. Like goalkeeping... Um, you know, a lot of the time you're not doing much. You're you you kind of constant. You know, you you're concentrating and you're moving and you're communicating. And a lot of it, you know, you just you just sort of watching and you've got to stay focused. And so when you're called upon, you've got to be able to deliver. And Lily did that tonight. And she played out from the back really well. She's very confident with her feet. She caught the high balls really really positively and strongly. And that was really good to see. And then in terms of the back line, you know, Abby Abby joined us last week and was introduced today. And she just was stellar and very very professional. And even though. Um, there was a little mix-up for the goal. That doesn't doesn't matter to me because um, I think she she responded really well, and I think there was way more to her game than that one little slip up. And um, you know, it happens to everybody, and it's just about how we respond. And she responded really well. But um, I think the back line did well. Anna did good. Um, Billy and Opie did very very well. And then Bailey Dull came in and, and really put in a shift. So um, it's really positive for us to see that there's a lot of depth in all the areas of the field. Today there was another opponent with being the weather, the heat today, particularly in the first half, was was very, very hot. How, what was it like uh, combating that, and how did you put that into your game plan? So it's really what I asked of the girls was like, hey, if you're feeling it, like you got to let us know because we've got reinforcements that can come on. But for me personally, even though it's hot, I never like to use it as an excuse because the other team are battling in the same heat. So we never try to talk about it too much. All we say is like, if you're struggling, let us know because we can get other people in. I don't want you to be a hero. Don't try and push through because we need to keep that level of intensity and, and, and pressure throughout prolonged periods of the game. So if you're struggling, let us know because we can get other people in. So um, it's just about dealing with it and just pushing through and persevering like we tell the girls all the time and everything and not using it as an excuse uh, because, like I said, we're not the only team playing in it. Next Saturday, first away match against Birmingham. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen in training this week and what's it going to take next week to get over that hump to get that first W? Yeah, so um, it's back to the drawing board for us as, as coaches this week. I'll be watching the game back um, tonight and tomorrow and, and going through each, each area of the field, both from an offensive and defensive aspect. Um, and then it's just putting the pieces together. We've got a few injuries tonight, which we're a little concerned of, so we're going to have to make adjustments um, where needed. And then 
It's about getting out there and just working on the basics and working on our patterns of play and style of play and, and reassuring the girls that what we're doing is going to work. Because I believe it is. It's just taking a little bit of time, which, like I said last week, we've got players from all over the world coming in who've never played with each other. Things don't just happen. Rome wasn't built in a day. And so that's the most, that, that's a really cool part. Um, I'm a coach that, and a person that never strives and, and looks towards the end result too much. I like to be in, in, in the process and enjoy the journey to get there. So, you know, we may have started with two losses, but that is not going to define us and that is not going to be the outcome for the rest of the year. So we're going to keep going. We're going to work hard this week. We're going to respond again next week um, and it's going to be better. So. Is there anything that we didn't talk about that you think it's important to add? Um, I think just, again, the fans tonight just came out and really supported us and the chat hooligans are always there in full voice and, you know, we appreciate them a lot and um, it really helps us and inspires us to go out there and give a performance that they will be proud of. Um, so just thanking the supporters and, um, our, our, you know, the team, I think, have done, done really, really well to persevere. So I am, I am proud of them. Um, and like I said, we're just going to go into to this next week ready to go and ready to fight um, and to, to come back stronger. So if I'm going to have one, two, uh, yeah. Yana came in to the lineup too. What do you think of Yana and Caitlin in midfield kind of mm -hmm. in that double, double pivot in a way, if that's the right way? Well, that was one of the adjustments. We know how strong um, Knoxville are as a, as a team and as a unit, especially in that front three. So we had to figure out a way of containing them. And, and with Jay coming in, we know the type of player she is. She's very aggressive. She's very good on the ball. She's a baller. Um, she's able to find, find those passes and she's very good defensively. So... We wanted her to sort of be that engine in the in the um, in the defensive role and be able to dictate the play and dictate the tempo and kind of be the the rod and the staff, if you will, in, in the in the central that midfield where everything kind of revolves through her. Um, so that really helped us tonight and that gave us a lot of uh, that gave us a lot of stability. So we're looking forward to utilising Jay a lot more. And what's great about her, she's versatile, so she can play in the back as well. So if we are struggling, you know, we could maybe push her back and add more more players into that into that um, defensive midfield role. But um, again, midfielders, we're, we're looking good and there's a lot of areas that we can put different players in. So it's good. It'll just take a bit of time.